Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media. Now in this video, I'm going to be going through some of the top 10 Windows key shortcuts. Now I actually only have 8 shortcuts for this video, just that 10 sounds better for the video title. And maybe you guys can post um, a comment on two other ones that you would be that you would think would be great to add to the list. So let's go ahead and get started. These are in no particular order because I don't want to get trolled about which one should be first place, which one's better, that one's better, this one's worse. So let's go ahead and get started. Now my first one would be Windows key plus M. So let's say we have this window open. You press the Windows key, M, and it automatically minimizes all windows. So let's say we have Notepad open too, all of them. So it automatically minimizes it if you want to hide it or just quickly go to your desktop if you have a bunch of windows open. Now my second shortcut would be Alt plus Tab. You hold the Alt and press the Tab to switch through the multiple windows that you have open. Let's go to Camtasia, let's go to Desktop, and you can switch back and forth like that. Now the next shortcut would be the F3 button. Just press that once and it brings up the Find uh, panel to search for text that you want to look for. I'm used to pressing Control F to find text, which requires two keys, but F3 is a lot quicker way to instantly find it. I can type in Chrysler, and there you go, it instantly locates it on the page. Now the next window shortcut I'm sure you're all familiar with, and it's pretty fun to tell people to press this if they're not familiar with it, which is Alt F4. Pressing Alt and F4 at the same time will instantly close any window you have, not just minimize it, but actually exit it out. So it's a lot easier than finding the X button. And now our next shortcut is the copy shortcut. You're probably familiar with this too, but it's a lot easier than highlighting and then right clicking and copy. You just press Control plus C. And then you can go up, and this leads me to my next shortcut, which is Control V, which is paste. So, oh, you can also do Control A, which is highlight. So, Control C, copy, Control V, paste. Now, last but not least, is pressing the Windows key plus L. This locks your computer screen. And instead of having to log out or um, shutting it down when you leave, you just want to quickly come back. You press Windows L, and it will require you to type in the password if you have a password when you come back and instantly just bring up your desktop again. Now, I can't demonstrate this to you because I believe I'll be logged out of my recorder here. Now, all of these shortcuts work pretty much for the Mac similar, in a very similar way, or most of them. Uh, they have a very similar keyboard, just different button, like the Windows uh, key is the Apple key instead. The Control button is still the same location, it's just the Apple logo. But most of them work on Mac for the most part in a similar way, such as the copy and paste. Now, I know a lot of these might have been really super easy, you already knew them and everything like that, but it's nice to just sometimes review them, I guess, if you've forgotten, or because there's no way you can possibly memorize all of them. If you see here, I'm going to post this in the description. There are literally a hundred different shortcut keys. So post a comment below on what you think the best Windows shortcut key is. I'm going to be showing you the top uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And in this video, I'm going to be now my next one would be Windows key, shift, arrow button, which didn't work. And in this tutorial or video or, or, okay, yeah, eight Windows shortcuts. Now I know I have, uh, blah, blah, blah.